Welcome All right, back. guys, welcome back. We've got here a uh, what's sold video. Uh, these have been my sales. We had about 20 of them this week. Uh, starting from Tuesday all the way up to today. Uh, today is now Saturday because it's after midnight. Uh, but we're just going to jump right into this. And uh, don't be like me. My shipping is set to go out within three to five business days. Uh, but I've been lazy, and I did not get these two shipped out, these two sold on Tuesday. So, I'm gonna actually end up getting a little small ding for not shipping out in time, but I don't know. I've just been tired and a little bur burned out from everything this week. Alright, so starting off here, we've got this vintage Dooney and Burke uh, I'm going to read the actual title. So this vintage Dooney and Burke per Scotty dog bone, Scotty, <laughs> Scottish terrier with rare charm. Found this at one of my bin stores. Um, it's a little heavy. I think it's less than a pound. So probably got about a dollar 87 into this. There's the cute little charm on there. The charm I could have actually taken off and just sold the charm by itself. Probably would have been smarter. Uh, I've been sitting on this for a little bit, but that ended up selling for $28 plus $9 shipping. Um, and that was an earnings of $31.57. Obviously, the earnings for all these are going to be not counting my buy costs. Um, I don't keep track of them that detailed. And some of these items here have been sitting around a while. So, you just have to kind of have to deal with that. Next up, uh, this one is actually kind of cool, though. I did pick this up at another bins. Uh, this Cobra XRS9530 12-band 360 laser radar detector with AC adapter for car. Um, I picked this up the other day in one of my videos, and you guys saw it in there. Uh, it sold the same day I listed it, um, so it sold... Uh, yesterday, basically, because I just finally got around to listing to it, listing it. So that sold there for twenty nine eighty seven plus six fifty five shipping, and that was an earnings of thirty two dollars and sixty four cents, which is not bad because I've probably got about a buck into it. Next up, we've got this Domokun Skeleton Plush sixteen inch Nanco uh, NKH twenty eleven new with tags, rare, very hard to find. Uh, you don't always have to put the rare and very hard to find stuff. I just find it's it's good filler. Um, you know, I put rare and very hard to find because there was none listed on eBay when I listed it, to be honest with you. But there was one sold. Uh, this sold for thirty one thirty eight plus eight fifty five shipping, for an order's total earning of thirty three thirteen. He's pretty cool. I like him. He's been in my store for a while. I don't remember exactly how long I've had him. Next up, uh, sorry it's not exciting to look for. Sometimes with clothes, I pre-package them. Uh, but these Extreme Couture uh, Men's 36 by 30 Blue Flap Pocket Dark Wash Straight Denim Jeans. These sold for $20 plus $10.25 shipping. For an order total earnings of twenty four ninety nine, um, I think I had maybe three dollars into those. I'm not so sure, um, so not too bad. Uh, following that, we've got this Aikido Power Storm. Uh, yeah, sorry, Legends of Aikido Thor Axis figure Power Storm Battle Giants Double Strike Armor. Sold for seventeen ninety five plus shipping. I don't remember. I don't know how much the shipping was exactly. It was going international, uh, but it was an earnings of fifteen dollars and forty three cents. Uh, I actually do have another one of these somewhere. Uh, not this. Not the same exact one, but I found another one of these a few weeks after I'd found that one um, at a thrift store. So I got to still get that listed. I'm not sure where it went off to. It's probably mixed in with all my death pile stuff. This one I was a little disappointed in. I was hoping it would uh, sell for a little bit more. 
Uh, we've got this vintage Pokemon WTC that stands for Wizards of the Coast. That's uh, the company that made the cards before the current generation um, back in the day. Uh, so that that's when you know that they're vintage cards or WOTC. Uh, legendary collection lot of 18. Reverse Hollow Machop and Assorted. So the cards inside are assorted. I'm not going to go through them all. There is the Hollow Machop. Cost of goods on this was $0. Um, I got them from my lovely aunt, who my aunt and my cousin, who gave them to me. They were sitting around for a long time. So this sold for $35 plus 505 shipping. Uh, I was hoping that it would sell for more because uh, it had so many watchers, but only one bidder. But that's all good. Next up, I've got this Mr. Wonderful. Um, I think I have about five bucks into them, if I can remember correctly. Mr. Wonderful Talking Mandal Novelty Toy Gag Gift Speaking Battery Operated. And it's funny because the word battery is misspelled in the listing and it's still sold. This sold for $24.18 plus free shipping. Uh, that was right around the comps that all the sold listings were going for, so that's where I listed mine at. Order total earnings are $20.71. Um, you would have to pick them up for a buck or two to really make them worth it. I think I overpaid by paying five bucks. Next, we have got this Integra... TV remote or DVD remote home theater controller, it says. There goes my cat. Um, so, as I've told you guys before, always look up these model numbers and everything on remotes. Remotes can be really good money, and you can normally find them pretty cheap. Don't remember where or when I picked this up exactly. Um, I know I probably don't have a lot into it. So, we've got Integra Remote Control... Uh, RC four one, uh, it's four four one M. This sold for thirty dollars plus five sixty shipping, and a earnings of twenty nine eighty three. Uh, I picked this up at the at a bins not too long ago, so it doesn't cost very much because it doesn't weigh a lot. This. 21-inch Aladdin Jasmine's Pet Tiger Raja plush stuffed animal Disney store. Disney store there is a key word because not all Disney stuff is created equally. Uh, you don't want to pick up just any random Mickey Mouse or any random Disney stuff, Goofy, Donald, whomever, because it's not all the same. So Disney Parks stuff is really good. And Disney Store stuff can be pretty good. That's kind of the stuff I normally focus on. If it doesn't say Disney Parks or Disney Store, uh, or uh, like the Cruise Line resorts have their own lines and stuff, that stuff I'll pick up. It's fine. I don't pick up anything that's just plain Disney. Uh, it's a very saturated market. As you can see, because this is Disney Store, it sold pretty quickly because I think it was in one of my one of my recent videos. This sold for $17.88 plus $6.40 shipping for a total earnings of $20.25. I think it should have been more, but eh, whatever. The eBay fees have been outrageous lately. Next up, we've got Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. 100% complete Milton Bradley 2000. Um, you can tell when some of these are really oddly worded and stuff. These are, these are listings that I've copied. This sold for $26.88 plus $12.20 shipping for an earnings of $32.30. Um, this is one of my favorite flips. I almost delisted it actually because, um, let's see. He's not even on the cover. Is he on the cover? Mm, there he is, right, right down there. Um, James Marsters, the... Um, the actor was going to be at Comic-Con. I've met him a few times, uh, at different conventions. He's very nice. If you ever have the opportunity and he's coming to a city near you, go stop and see him. He is fantastic to talk to. Uh, but I almost once kept it just to get it signed, because it would have been nice to get it signed by him, and then wait for 
David Boreanaz to make an appearance. Uh, I don't have any stuff from David Boreanaz signed, but I'm a big Buffy and Angel fan. Next up, we've got Something Wild. Uh, Jeff Daniels DVD 2001 Rare and OOP. OOP is a keyword. It stands for Out of Print. Uh, if you use that abbreviation, uh, it will work the same by typing in both OOP and Out of Print. Um, and it is a library copy clean. Um, this didn't earn me a lot. Uh, this sold for $10.26 plus 3.92 shipping. Uh, you do not earn anything off of media mail shipping. That is the bad thing about media mail. It costs the buyer 3.92, it costs you 3.92. So this is a earnings of $11.17, but it's more like what was it? 11 minus 4, so like 9 bucks something. I don't know. I'm tired. It's late early in the morning. However, when you, you want to consider it. After that, we've got Cyclone. 100% complete. Uh, basics, vintage, original, He-Man, Motu. Uh, Motu is another key abbreviation you can use for Masters of the Universe. 1984. Um, tight joints. Uh... I don't know. I must have copied that listing. The legs are pretty tight, um, but it's not super tight, so hopefully this doesn't get a return or anything. But he is complete, and he stands. He sold for $17.88 plus $5.85 shipping for an earning of $20.24. Next up, we've got this copy. I said this in my last video. This is from my last video. Uh, Spring Breakers. Uh, on Blu-ray 2013 with slipcover. The slipcover is what makes the difference. James Franco's... Boo this man! Selena <laughs> Gomez. But sometimes I think that people collect stuff that has to do with terrible people. Anyway, this sold for $15 plus 392 shipping for an earnings of... 1502 so obviously minus the four dollars for shipping that's eleven dollars plus i think i had three dollars into this so i made eight bucks but it sold quickly it sold in a couple days next we've got this omron bp 71 uh 7110 it's supposed to say but uh, the listing says 7100 which is probably why this sat along for, or sat around for so long uh, upper Arm 3 Series Blood Pressure Monitor Pre-Owned with Box. Not really much to say about this. It's been sitting around for a long time. I don't have a lot into it. I don't remember exactly how much. I normally get these things for like between like 2 and 3 or $4. But it sold for $15.66 plus $8 shipping for an earnings of $19.58. Uh, next, uh, we've got here this... Biba, Baby Cook, Solo Slash Duo Replacement Mixing Cutting Blade with Nut uh, Part Number 800104. Um, I picked up this whole uh, Biba Baby Cook machine and I broke it down into parts. I've told you before, I learned this from Kevin, the Commonwealth Picker. Uh, when in doubt, parted out. I love, absolutely love when in doubt, parted out. Those when in doubt, parted out items, and I part them out. When in doubt, parted out, I guess. I could sell the whole unit all together, and it would have sold for about the price that this blade sold for. So why not break it apart and then sell the other parts individually? So this part here sold for twenty-two thirty-eight plus free shipping, uh, and that was an earnings of nineteen oh nine. I believe that listing got me five listings. And I picked it up for five dollars, so I have about a dollar into that. So that's good profits right there. Underneath of that, we've got this Walking Tall Lone Justice DVD 2007 Kevin Sorbo. This is a bad pickup. I don't know. I like Kevin Sorbo. I really I grew up on the Hercules TV show. Kevin Sorbo was the main character. He played Hercules, and so I picked it up. I don't remember how much I had maybe a buck, maybe less. Might have even gotten it for free at somewhere. I don't remember. I wanted it out of my store and oddly enough went back and forth with this buyer for a long time for 809 
and free shipping. So mind you, I'm going to lose on the shipping. I lost out on the dollar or whatever I paid for it, plus the fees. I think I made a dollar, but it's a dollar I didn't have before, so who cares? Next, I've got another part of that Biba thing. I've got a Biba Baby Cook Solo Duo BEA010A Replacement Insert Steamer Basket Clear Plastic. Again, have about a dollar into this. Sold for $17.88 plus $5.85 shipping for an earnings of $19.54. Then we've got something that's been in my store for a very, very long time. Remember when we talked about bad buys, guys? Yeah, this is on the list. I wouldn't pick this up again if you paid me. Maybe if it was a full, like, 90-piece set and I knew how to list it better, but I don't know how to list these types of things. So this sat around for forever. Five piece of Corsican Japanese leaf swirl stainless steel flatware serving spoons and fork. Or forks, uh, multiple, but whatever. It, it didn't matter. It sat around for forever. I wouldn't pick it up again. I don't think so anyway. I don't like flatware. I know you can make a lot of money off of it, especially if it's uh, silver. But it sold for $19.80 plus $6.25 shipping. Earnings $21.40. This was another recent listing, uh, which is cool because it sold pretty quickly. It did not sell for a lot. Um, I don't know why, really why I buy toys. It's just it's one of the things that I like. This Violator 2 Ultra Action Figure McFarlane Spawn Deluxe Edition 1995 Loose Figure. Whew, sold for $10.665 shipping. Earnings uh, thirteen seventy nine. Ooh, I don't know. I probably paid two bucks for it. I really didn't earn anything after I'm done shipping the damn thing. My big sale for this week. Um, again, nothing that impressive. I know I'm going to butcher this name. Zojirishi NS-2CC10 5.5 cup Neuro Fuzzy Rice Cooker Warmer. Sold for $121.00. And 38 cents and free shipping. I don't know how much this is going to cost me to ship. Um, I'm just happy to be rid of it. I only have five bucks into it. That's a good profit. I wish all my profits could be that high because it's probably about a $75 profit at least after I'm done shipping. But that was it, guys. That's all we got going out this week. Uh, and let's see what the weekend brings us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And have yourselves a good weekend. Bye-bye.